Hi, this is Joe Diomedi from Telling Mom Braun here in South Carolina in uh, the United States of America, interviewing uh, Nancy Camarada, a former New Yorker who uh, made the choice to move down south uh, for her particular reasons. So we'll just ask her a few questions on uh, why she made the move, when she made the move, and how she feels about that move. Uh, okay, uh, Nancy. Um, so, how are you, Nancy? I'm great, thank you. Very good. And uh, actually, you do not live in South Carolina, do you? Where, where do you live? I live in Matthews, North Carolina. Okay. And how long ago did you make the move down to the Carolinas? Over nine years ago. And what prompted that move after raising your family in New York and having all your friends? What prompted the move to uh, the Carolinas here in the southern part of the states? Well, a couple of reasons. One was I followed actually my family down here because my daughter was in South Carolina at the time. My son was in North Carolina, and we decided that we wanted to follow them here. And also retirement because I was able to retire. So I haven't been working since 2005. Okay, okay. So retirement and was the weather a factor uh, in any way? Yeah, definitely. That would be the third thing, weather. Yes, absolutely. We were looking forward to just gorgeous weather all year round. And even when it snows, it's away in one to two days. So it's a beautiful thing. Okay. And has it met your expectations living down here in the Carolinas? Yes, it has for me. I never really needed any time to acclimate. I felt very comfortable from the time we moved here. And do you, when you integrate, do you integrate, um, would you say your friends are mostly uh, Southerners, or are there, a lot, are there a lot of people like yourselves who have moved from the North? What percentage, if you can give it a percentage, of those people are actually from the Carolinas, and which are, from, which are those that are from the North who have made the move like yourself? Probably 98% are Northerners, I bet. And then maybe that 2% are Southerners, yeah. But my closer friends are all, all transplants from New York or whatever, up North. You know, yeah, mostly New York, though. And do you feel uh, uh, more of a connection with, um, with uh, is there a cultural divide, shall we say, between the North and the South? Do you feel, uh, is that just a natural attraction because they happen to live in your complex? Or do you feel more attracted to their culture, their way of life, their way of thinking? Is there a difference between the Southern mentality and the Northern mentality? I definitely think so. But I've been, yeah, because you, I think you, you kind of connect right away with Northerners. Well, they're more like what I have grown up with and more of what I'm used to. I mean, the, they've been great. The, the friends I know that I've made is, uh, in North Carolina are wonderful people. They really are. But my close friends, as I said, are Northerners. And I think it's because they do live in the community because I think when you first move down, you're looking for friends and you really want to be with pe your mm -hmm. peers. So, and, but it just so happened that all my peers that moved around me where we lived were all from up north. Right. Okay. So there we have it. Um, the move, uh, the move to the Carolinas from those up north, uh, seems to work out in many ways. But uh, funnily enough, the the, the Northerners may uh, may stick in little ghettos to themselves in the north, in uh, in this beautiful land of uh, known as uh, the Carolinas, as James Taylor said. Carolina on my mind. This is Joe from Telemumbrum signing off from Carolina. Thank you.